So I did a couple of takes on this video in my normal voice, and they were kind of boring because I couldn't really think of stuff to say. So like, I'm just gonna do this voice, and you're gonna laugh because it sounds really stupid. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, this first track is called Monumental SX by Goldliner 49er, and this track is really fun because it's like it has fun jumps and stuff so like you know like look at this jump it's like sideways oh my god like who does that that's so cool um so yeah and this track like it keeps up with the like traditional gold liner style of tracks like it's really fun it's really smooth and like, there's always something to look at wherever you go on the track. Like, you're never bored. Like, you're never like, oh, wow, I wish you had used a different piece there or something. So, yeah. Um, there's really no problems with this track, in my opinion. But other people, like, they complain about the sideways jump because they case it sometimes, like that guy. But I think... It's just because they don't take the outside. Like, think of it as a berm on that straightaway. Like, if you take it high, you're always gonna clear the jump. But if you take it low, you might case it. Cause that's the same way berms work. And so that's how that jump works. So yeah, always take that section high. And uh, I really like that drift turn um, that you saw just before. I'm not usually a huge fan of drift turns, but I really like that one for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, and there's some invisible whoops right there, so don't get scared of that. Like, some people in my game were freaking out, and I was just like, dude, chill out. The piece is just like glitched out or something. So yeah, um, anyway, this is Monumental SX by Goldliner49er and you should really go download it and play it with some friends because it's a really fun track. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. This track is called Thunderstruck GP by Officer Donuts and Darklinks976. Now, right here, as you can see, the boring, the bordering is kind of ugly. Like, it's just like, there's random pieces around the track everywhere, and I, I, I really, I don't like looking at those pieces, especially the tin cups up here. Those are really ugly. So, I, I really recommend, um, if you don't feel like going back and redoing this track, I really recommend just like, using a theme to your pieces. On the next track or something and or maybe just don't put the pieces like so close to the track or just 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 do your border differently in some way so uh, other than that my only complaint really I think is the old timey effect um it's really cool like it looks cool but um it's really annoying when you're racing but, you know, what are you gonna do? Like, it's a, I guess it's an okay trade-off, but, like, I definitely don't think, um, we would ever race a track in ORL with the old-timey effect. Um, so, yeah, maybe just, I don't know, I guess you can keep it, and then, if we ever raced a track with old-timey, we'd just delete it or something. Um, but yeah. Um, also, the Z fighting is kind of annoying, but yeah, um, but other than those flaws, the track is really fun and really competitive. Um, as you saw earlier in the video, we were having an awesome battle, and like, it's, it's pretty challenging, um, 
which, you know, GP tracks are kind of easy a lot of the time. So, like, to have a somewhat challenging track is a really good thing. And I really enjoyed racing on this track, especially what, during the battle. And, uh, it seems like when there's a battle, there's a really good battle because of the way the track is made. You know, it's not really easy for one person to uh, get out of the battle or anything, get ahead. Um, so yeah, um, really good job at keeping the battles going on this track. Um, and I, I, I don't know what happened to the aesthetics, man. Like, the starting area, it looks really cool. But then, like, you get to here and just... Actually, this still looks okay. But then you get to here, and on the left, like, you can see to the other side of the track. It's like, oh man, I wish, just wish they had done something better. But anyway, that's this track, guys. Um, just go download these tracks. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe to Outlaw Racing Live. Um, it's the other YouTube channel we have. It does, like you know, like race coverage and league news and all that stuff. So yeah, X-Rain's out. And Eternals.